Hello and God bless my beloved family in Christ. God bless you. God bless your families. Let me know if my sound is loud and clear. Nice to have you on board. God bless you. Thank you for your support. Hello, Marcus Tembeck. Hello, PG Coffee, Phil Herrera, Kenosis Potter, Princess Rainbow, Marion, Sean, my brother. Lula, Armageddon News, Lily, Islam is Peace, Abdel Halig, welcome my friend. Andrew Martin, good to have you. I saw that you were very tired, but nice to see you, my friend. God bless you and your families. Tenshi, Tamara, Supatiki, Revelation 22, 13. God bless you all, guys. If I missed anyone's name, please forgive me. I love you all, including the Muslims who love to hate us and curse us left and right at least 70 times a day, repeating the curses of Allah on us. Guys, before we start, please pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior. I know it, it really became a habit lately, and I think it's a good habit to ask the God for guidance before we start. So pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, please give me the courage to overcome lies, taqiyya and deception. Help me not to lean on my own understanding, but in everything acknowledge you, Lord, so that you, that you can direct my words, thoughts and actions. Give us a measure of your strength so that we might not give into discouragement, deception or doubt. Please, Lord, help us honor you in all our ways. Lord, thank you that when I am weak, you are strong. Lord, the devil is scheming and is using taqiyya, and I know he desires to keep us from spending time with you, Lord. Lord, thank you for your grace, and because of the ultimate sacrifice of your beloved Son, we are saved. Lord, please fill me with your Holy Spirit. Please loosen my tongue today so I can speak without any error, but with truth, wisdom and courage to do whatever needs to be done. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Guys, on this live broadcast, we will have the opportunity to today to investigate the pagan roots of the Islamic rituals and practices. Yes, you heard it correctly. The pagan roots of the Islamic rituals and practices. That's today's topic, actually. And hopefully, last but not least, hopefully, when we have time, we can do a nice Q&A session in the end with our guests in the live chat. In other words, you can ask me questions about today's teaching and I will try to answer your questions in the live chat as far as I can. Hopefully, we'll have also Muslim Ustaz or a Sheikh or an Imam who will honor us with his presence. Uh, let me give me you my Skype ID. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian, the Rob Christian without separation. I will open up my Skype when I'm done teaching. So if there are Muslims today, you have to wait till I'm finished teaching and then I will open up my Skype, right? So hopefully we will have a hero, a true Muslim, a true uh, follower of Muhammad, a nice Muhammadan who can call us for a nice and respectful discussion. So you have to wait because uh, today's teaching is really intense. So I need you to focus with me, okay, guys? Since we have already a nice Muslim who calls himself Islam is peace, you are the nurse of that uh, Muslim warrior, right? Islam is peace. You are the, the nurse and the servant of your uh, boyfriend, Muslim warrior. I hope your boyfriend will call me today. Guys, there's a guy who loves to make videos about me. His name is Muslim warrior. He has a nice beard like Mimi Hijab. The beard goes all in all directions, like Q, 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 all right? So hopefully this guy will call me. 
And uh, Islam is peace is nothing but a text terrorist who will never ever dares to call me. So I hope your master and boyfriend, Mr. Islam is peace, I hope you will call me. And by the way, you have to change your name because Islam does not mean peace. We already made enough live shows and proved to everybody that Islam does not mean peace. It means nothing but pieces. Islam is the religion of pieces. We've already proved that. So, you know, there's no need to use taqiyya in your nickname, okay? We're already immune. Everybody here together with me, we all ate seven ajwa this morning, right? We ate seven ajwa, so we became immune for black magic, poison, and we get the extra because we are Christians. We get the extra that we become immune for taqiyya, uh, lies, and deception, right guys? Right? So, let's see guys, bear with me for a second. Bear with me for a second, and let me say the following. Tonight, we are going to witness the most anticipated match in the history of professional wrestling for the heavyweight championship of the world. Are you ready? Wrestling fans, are you ready? For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, from the capital city of the United States of America, Washington, D.C., ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Are you ready? I mean, people, are you ready for today's teaching? Hopefully you are ready, my friends. In Christ, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. <clears throat> Guys, before I go to today's teaching, uh, because uh, I was seeing and watching the live chat before I started actually, I saw this Islamist piece who claimed that Allah is the same God of the Christians and the Jews, right? That's what he claimed. So, you know, I didn't want to go off topic, but because we need to answer all the questions and all the false claims of the Muslims, let me spank him, let me spank him first, right? Let me spank him first, and let me also spank another of his boyfriends. He has a lot of boyfriends, and Muslim Warrior is another guy like him. But I was reading a comment from this guy. What's his name? Guys, can you see the, can you see the screen? Give me one if you can see the screen. Give me one if you can see the screen, guys. Okay. This Abdul here, read my reply, said... And he's, uh, he's really happy about a Muslim warrior, this guy, I hope, hopefully this guy will going to call me, right? He, because, you know, he is always making excuses. And last time when he tried to call me, I was already closing my applications. You know, we were waiting for one and a half hour, last live show, one and a half hour for people like this Amin, this coward, who is going to make six hour long video about me and christian prince by the way right so we have two months christian prince and i we have two months uh we have to repent else we will get spanked by the abduls imagine bro so this guy this ready read my reply this abdul is so happy with this muslim warrior who's making videos about me about christian prince about the apostate prophet and I saw one of the comments and I was like, dude, I have to, you know, I have to spank him because, you know, Muslims will make all kind of claims, right? I will get to you, Islamist peace. I will get to you. Don't worry. I will get to you. Don't worry, Abdul. Don't worry. Pay attention. Hold your horses. I'm going to spank you too. No worries. So this guy says... And he's talking about how Mark 12, guys, Mark 12, 29, that it marks, according to this guy, that it marks the Trinity, the Biblical Trinity. 
I mean, you cannot be stupid enough to go to Mark 12. And let me prove to you why this guy has no clue what he's talking about. He is suffering from the disease called Abdulism, right? Whenever you put biblical verses, those biblical verses are your worst enemy. And they will show you that you actually are proving to us that Jesus is Lord and you have to deal with it. And when Jesus comes back, your own knee will bow and proclaim, from your mouth you will proclaim that Jesus is Lord. Deal with it because you will be judged. So let me hack this claim into peace. Hack it to pieces, right? So if we go to Mark 12, guys, right? He mentioned Mark 12. 29. So let us go to chapter 12 of the Gospel of Mark. I mean, we are Christians. We love to answer Muslim claims because, and show you their ignorance, right? So this is Mark 12, verse 29. Guys, this is off topic, I know, but we are showing you. We are not hiding. We can answer all the Muslim claims, right? And that's what we are going to do. So he's saying that Mark... 12, 29, pay attention, uh, Islam is peace, pay, I'll come to you. You want to change topic, you want to go to John now. Oh, wait, wait, let me first destroy one of your boyfriends who was commenting uh, in the comment section before I go to you. So this is the verse, guys, that this Abdul is talking about, right? Mark 12, verse 29, supposedly is mocking the Trinity. Really? I mean, really? Christians, are you ready? I think you didn't hear. Are you ready? Yes, you're ready, right? You're ready with me. And I'm going to spank this Abdul in the comment section. And Jesus answered him. So someone asked Jesus a question. So Jesus is going to answer, guys, pay attention. The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Amen to that. Amen. Our God is one. Right? Our God is one. We believe that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is one God. Right? So how is this? Ya Abdul, ya, ya son of Muta, ya son of a donkey, ya Hmar ibn Hmar, son of a donkey. How is Mark 12, 29 destroying the Trinity? Ya Abdul, son of Abdul. Actually, amen to this because we uh, Christians, we Jews believe that God is only one God. Yeah, donkey ibn donkey. Truly, I think the guys, I'm not trying to mock anybody, but truly this Abdul in the comment section, right? This, what is his name again? I forgot his name. Ready, ready my reply. This donkey is truly suffering from Abdulism. And I think when he was a baby, his mother, his Islamic mother, dropped him on his head. I mean, the proof is in front of you guys. I mean, you cannot make such a claim and not be stupid. I mean, it's not an insult to call someone sp stupid, right? This guy is a donkey. And I'm not trying to insult the real donkeys. And by the way, guys, the word donkey, hmar, in the Islamic Arabic world is another meaning for someone who is stupid. So this guy is a donkey, right? And I'm not trying to insult any real donkeys because real donkeys are much smarter than these Abduls who are suffering from the disease called Islam and Abdulism. So boom on your head. Bam! Deal with it, Abdul. And if you continue reading, so not only did he just got spanked, not only that, if you continue reading, this is the same mark, right? If you continue reading, I mean, why are you not continuing? The Bible is not only Mark 12, 29. You have to read the entire chapter. And the entire chapter is going to spank you. Spank your fake man-made Islam. And is going to spank Muhammad. And prove that Muhammad is nothing but a fake prophet. A self-proclaimed prophet. A fake prophet. Like Musaylam al kadhab That you called a liar. right? Musaylam was another Arabic self-proclaimed prophet in the time of Muhammad. So Muhammad was not the only fake prophet in the time of Muhammad. Right? Anyway, so if we continue reading, if we continue reading, guys, if we continue reading, we read the following. This is a couple verses later. Mark 12, verse 34, and says, When Jesus saw that he answered discreetly, he said unto him, Thou art not 
far from the kingdom of God. And no man after that durst ask him any question. So nobody dared to ask Jesus Christ any question, right? Uh, but Jesus answered anyway. He kept preaching and said in the next verse, And Jesus answered and said, While he taught in the temple, how say the scribes that Christ is the son of David? How are you calling Jesus the, the son of David? While David himself, guys, and here comes the spanking of Muhammad. Pay attention. Take notes. Take notes, guys. For David, from verse 36, for David himself said, by the Holy Ghost, the Lord said to my Lord, sit thou on my right hand I, till I make thine enemies thy footstool. So how is it possible for the Messiah that David himself said to the Messiah, the Lord said to my Lord. So here, King David himself, King David himself called the Messiah his Lord, my Lord. By going to Mark 12, 29, but you forgot, forgot to keep reading, and that's what you Muslims do. You copy from a verse and you forget about the rest of the verses, right? Right? Uh, admins, can you do something about the spam, please? So, are you going to try to get away with, the, uh, <laughs> with one verse while forgetting about the rest of the verses? I mean, how is it possible that King David himself is calling the Messiah his Lord? His God? Yeah, Abdul, son of Abdul. Thank you for your stupidity. So, guys, they know they got spanked. They know we showed everybody and proved to everybody that this guy got spanked. Because they cannot handle it, they need to spam the entire life chat, right? So deal with it, Muslims. When you make a claim, we are here to spank you, right? And not only that, guys. Let me prove to you, because he also mentioned the Shema, right? Let me go. Shema, look what this guy is saying. Shema Israel. Yeah, thank you for mentioning that, guys. Now let us go to Shema Israel, right? This is the same Shema Israel from Deuteronomy verse 6-4. Let me make it bigger, guys. This is the same 6-4, right? That he here is quoting. Look how many times I need to spank this Abdul, who is suffering from Abdul. This is the Shema, right, guys? Take notes, Deuteronomy 6-4. Let me give you the link, guys. Focus, guys, focus. I'm going to prove the Trinity from Deuteronomy 6-4, from the Shema Israel. Pay attention. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. Now, if we go to the Hebrew, Shema means hear. Hear, Israel, right? Hear, Shema, Israel, Israel. Hear, O Israel, Yahweh, the Lord, the Lord, God, the Father, Eloheinu, right? Yahweh. Sorry, guys. Shema Israel, Yahweh, the Lord, God. Eloheinu, God. Yahweh, God. Echad, compound unity. So the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Guys, Lord, Lord, Lord. Echad. There's the Trinity right there. And Echad, guys, is a compound unity. Right? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one. So thank you for mentioning the Shema, Abdul, son of Abdul, proving for everybody that the Trinity is right there. Thank you. God, God, God is one. Thank you. And Echad, guys, is compound unity, which means the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one. If Why did the... The Bible, why didn't the Bible, the Hebrew Bible said Yechad. Why did it use Echad? Because this is a compound unity. This is Echad, right? Is Echad. Not the other word, right? Thank you. Exactly, this is the true, and Muslims actually use this because Tawheed means unification. So the unification, unification 
makes perfect sense here, right guys? Echad. Thank you for mentioning the Shema. BAM! On your forehead. This is the nail on the coffin of Muhammad proving that Muhammad is the false prophet and he, his God is not Yahweh. This is more proof and is spanking this Islamist peace because Islam means peace, of Islam is peace. You said that Allah is the same God. I, I was watching carefully. It's in the live chat. I was watching carefully. You said that Allah is the same God of the Bible. You filthy, dirty liar. And the proof is in front of you. Muhammad never ever mentioned the name Yahweh. Never. He came with a totally new God called Allah. No Jew knows Allah. No Christian knows Allah. Right? So, Tawheed actually proves the Trinity. And you Muslims are suffering. You have no clue what Tawheed means. It means unification. Let me give you an example, guys. If I'm a priest... Pay attention, if I'm a priest, an Arabic speaking priest, pay attention guys, when I want to unify a guy with his wife, I would say, as a Arabic speaking priest, I would say, Ana awahid al imra al imra'a ma'zawjiha. Did you catch it? Ana awahid. Hence, Tawheed, right? Did you hear it? So, crystal clear proof, example of what Tawheed means. It means to unify. This is when you go to chapter 112. Let me prove it. Let me show you guys what I'm trying to explain here. That Muslims, they actually spank themselves when they go to... This is, by the way, the most of... Important chapter in the Quran when you ask Muslims, right? This is the chapter. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Do you see this, guys? Allahu ahad. Allah, the la, the la, the Islamic God, his name is la. Ahad means not one as they put it in the false translation. It's fake, false, scam translation. Ahad, guys, means Allah is one off. Did you catch it? Allah is one of. That's what it means. Why is, does it, it not say wahid? Because the Arabic word for wahid, one, why did it say wahid? It clearly says Allahu Ahad. That means Allah is one of many gods. At least two, right? At least two. Who are the two? Jesus is the eternal word of Allah. Kalimat Allah, the uncreated word. That's number one. We have La, we have Akbar, the son, the wife of uh, the moon idol, Allah. And we have Muhammad, because if you go to chapter 48, let me prove it to you. Chapter 48, ayah 9, it says, لِتُؤْمِنِ بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَتُعَزِّرُهُ وَتُوَقِّرُهُ وَتُسَبِّحُهُ بُكْرَةً وَأَصِيلًا Right? So you have to believe in Allah and His Messenger and you have to assist Muhammad, the Rasul, in battle. You have to honor and respect him and you have to glorify him every morning and evening. Did you catch it? So... Who are you to glorify according to this ayah? You have to glorify Muhammad. Bam! You see why? Guys, do you see why we say that Tawheed means unification? Because all the Muslims are commanded to glorify Muhammad. How many gods do you have in Islam, guys? You have Jesus, who they call Isa. He is the eternal word, uncreated, right? You have Akbar, the son, the son, the wife of Allah. You have Lah, the Islamic moon idol, right? And you have Muhammad. So you see how many gods there are in Islam, guys? And this is Tawheed, by the way. This is Tawheed. Sorry, I misspelled it. But anyway, you get the idea. Did you catch it, guys? Did you catch it? 
And Islam is peace. You got spanked badly, my friend. Not only that, let us continue, guys, before we go actually to the topic of today. We are not running. We are not hiding. We are here to spank you, spank Allah, the moon idol, and spank your fake prophet, Muhammad. If we actually study the Bible carefully, our God, his name is Jehovah. Ye Yehveh. Yahweh, right? The holy living God of the Israelites, whose name was revealed to Moses. Exodus 3, 14. And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thou shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, the Bani Israel, the children of Israel, I am, I am has sent me unto you. So the I am, this is his name, the I am. And Jesus, as we showed you in the last live show jesus is the one jesus is the one who also claims to be the i am right i am the same i am so jesus claiming divinity so is your god i am is your god's name jehovah mr islamist peace you got spanked you got served not only that all as we mentioned earlier allah is the pagan moon idol other names for this fake dead god Speaking from cave, Hira, Hira, to Muhammad, to Muhammad. Allah is the pagan moon idol, moon idol, idol, idol. Guys, if we go to Sahih al-Bukhari, if we go to Sahih al-Bukhari, and we mentioned the hadith many times, Khadija, the wife of Muhammad, the first wife of Muhammad, she used to send Muhammad to cave Hira, remember? She used to send Muhammad to cave Hira. And Muhammad was sitting there and she gave him food to stay for a couple days there for a long period, right? So he used to stay in Kif Hira and the hadith clearly says Khadija wished, Khadija wished that the moon idol Allah that already existed before Islam, the pre-Islamic Allah that she and her husband used to worship as the moon idol, she hoped that this same Allah, this same Allah would send some divine revelation to Muhammad. BAM! Uh oh. So this same dead fake god, the moon idol, was also called Hubal. His, an, another name is Sin. Baal. These are the same names for the same moon idol. Right? You have to deal with these Muslims. Wake up. Wake up. And as we explained, the living holy god. Not this dead guy, right? Not this dead God, not this fake dead God, but the living holy God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Glory to his name. His name is Jehovah, the I am, as we prove it to you, right? The I am. So who is Allah? Muslims, why are you still claiming that Allah is the same God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob from the Holy Bible? You truly have no shame, you have no dignity, and all of you Muslims have no honor when you make these claims. And clearly Muhammad was suffering from Abdulism himself when he made this claim. He was on hashish. And he wanted to prove to, to the Jews who rejected him in Medina that he's actually the prophet of the same God. But the Jews, the Jews of Medina were not stupid, guys. This is why. And the proof is in front of you. This is why they rejected Muhammad. And this is why, because they rejected him. This is why they, Muhammad wanted to kill them. Right? That's the, that is the reason why he wanted to kill them and expel them from their houses. Bam! So you, Islam is peace, you got spanked and you got served for everybody to see. And everybody in the live chat and the ones who are watching are my witnesses. And as you see, guys, because he got spanked, he wants to go to all kinds of different verses to prove that he's nothing but a monkey, a donkey. He wants to jump from topic to topic, right? Jumping from verses to verses. And not only that, guys, you see, still, I'm not, st I didn't even start yet with today's teaching, but it's okay, right? We are not running, we're not hiding, we're showing you that Islam is a man made cult who is still worshipping the moon idol. And not only that, Muhammad had no clue who the real Jesus was, right? Remember my 
last live show when we showed you that Isa and Jesus are not the same person, right guys? You have watched that live show. If you didn't watch it, go watch it back. So when Muslims say Isa is Jesus, they have no clue. They are repeating the same nonsense of their fake prophet. All right? Let me prove it to you. Joshua, guys, means the name Joshua, the name of Jesus, Joshua, means Yahweh, the Lord, is salvation. Yahweh saves. Right, guys? So who is Isa, guys? Pay attention. Please focus with me. Forget about this kid that we just spanked. Forget about him. Pay attention. Forget about the Muslims in the live chat. Are you with me, guys? Give me a one. Give me a one so I'm sure that you're still with listening. There's someone who's calling me on my other computer. My Skype is not open. I told you, you have to wait till I'm done teaching. So if you want to refute me, <laughs> good luck with that. You have to wait, Abdul. I'm not running. I'm not hiding. I will open up my Skype when I'm done. We are here. We have all day, guys. Don't worry, Abdul. We have all day. Don't worry. Be happy. So guys, back to jo Joshua. Joshua, as we said, means the Lord, our Lord, the living God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is salvation. He saves. So who is Isa? And why is the name of our Lord not in that name? Right? Who is Isa? So and where is the word the Lord in this fake Arabic name? Any Muslim? Think about this, guys. If you ask a Muslim, what is the name of Isa? What does it mean? They have no clue. Why they have no clue? Because it's a fabricated name. It has nothing to do with the real Jesus of the Holy Bible. And yeah, we love the donkeys. Actually, Marcus Tambeck, correct bro? We love these victims of this man-made cult. Who is Isa, guys? Who is Isa? Tell me. I want to know, man. And not only that, to make it even more worse, to put the last nail on the coffin of Muhammad, we Arabic speaking Christians. Nahnul Masihiyun. Guys, Nahnul Masihiyun. We, the real Christians, there is nothing called Nasara. Nahna al Masihiyun. Right? We are Masihiyun or Masihiyun. Depends how you use it in an Arabic sense. Anyway, we call Jesus Yesu. I put a three because it looks like the uh, 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 Right? Yesu al Masih. Translated from the Aramaic Yeshua, from Yeshua, Yeshua, you see? So we have this real name for Jesus in Arabic. Who is Isa? Muslims. So the real name that the Arabic speaking Christians use and call for Joshua is Yeshua al-Masih, which is directly translated from the Aramaic, Yeshua. Who is Isa Abdul? And as we explained, it means Yahweh, the Lord, is salvation, or the Lord saves, right? So is Isa. And where is the word the Lord in the fake Arabic name? Any Muslim? Who is Isa, Muslims? Welcome, uh, Andy. God bless you and God bless everybody who lives in Singapore. For the people who just joined in, God bless you. God bless your families. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Smash that like button as it's possessed by jinns. And also click on the notification bell to receive notifications when we go live like today. So how many more proof do you need that the Islamic God is not our God as Muslims love to tell you. They have no clue. They have to believe that. This is why they are making those claims. Because they need, they, is so, they are so desperate to prove to you that Islam is an Abrahamic religion. Which is clearly not. Because if Islam was truly an Abrahamic religion, Muhammad would have not made such mistakes. And he should definitely use the name, the true name of God. I am. But he used a pre-existing name before Islam, the moon idol. So this is why all Christian and Jews rejected Muhammad in the first place. Right, guys? And please come back to the real Jesus Christ. Yesu al-Masih, not Isa. There's nothing called Isa. Right? 
Thank you, appreciate it, guys. So, you know, we spanked this Abdul who was making stupid claims, and I saw him talking to our dear admin, Phil Herrera, right? I, I, was, I was watching, I was seeing, and I was preparing to go live. So, Muslim Islam Peace, you need to change your name. Your name is Taqiya. You got spanked and served. Like your other boyfriend, this guy that we spanked in the beginning. Right? You see, we already spanked two Abduls who are nothing but text jihadi terrorists. Let us go back, guys, to today's live show. So, that was actually all but spanking, right? That's the first couple of minutes. We had to spank the Muslims, spanking and serving them for everybody to see, right? And we already done that. Enough, enough is enough, right? Let us continue. Guys, let me drink something, so bear with me. I am still not 100%. I still having issues with my left ear and it's affecting my throat, right? Because it's all connected. So Keep me in your prayers to get healthy again, guys. Please keep me in your prayers. Keep our beloved admins in your prayers. We need your prayers. <clears throat> Let me drink, guys. The pagan roots of Ramadan. Right? So guys, you see this guy, this kid is getting, uh, you know, triggered. He's, he's getting upset because he got spanked, right? So he needs to spam. Guys, don't, don't block him. Don't block him, okay? To the admins, don't block him. Let him uh, stay. Maybe he will learn something. Because clearly, showing everybody, even a donkey, guys. Even a donkey. Thank you, uh, PG Coffee. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you for your prayers, guys. We need it. So, I always say this. Even a true donkey, guys, if he goes and hits his head inside the wall, he will know he will not do it a second time because this animal is so smart that when he is going to do it a second time, he knows that it will hurt his head badly. But Muslims are actually more stupid than the real donkeys and I'm not trying to insult any donkey because real donkeys are very smart they won't do that a second time but the Muslims keep getting coming to us keep getting spanked and they will never learn right they will never learn so let them stay maybe they will learn something about today's topic right let us start actually today's topic guys now when we ask Muslims, who are the people of the book? Guys, we, who are the people of the book that are mentioned everywhere in the Islamic books, including the Quran, including the Hadith, including the Tafsir? Who are they? Immediately they will tell you, they, those are the Jews and the Nasara. And I made the word Nasara yellow because that's what we are not calling ourselves. We are Masihiyun or Masihiyin. Right? So who are the Nasara? Truly, I have no clue. I, as an Arabic-speaking Christian, and a Masihi. نحن مسيحيين. We are, plural, Masihiin. One, I am a Masihi. I'm a Masihi, right? So what is Nasara? We have no clue who Nasara are. Another spanking for Muhammad, right? Anyway, let it go, guys. Let it go. Let's pretend that we are Nasara. We are not, but let us pretend that we are Nasara for the sake of today's teaching. Let us be political correct. Let us go with the fake prophet of Islam today. Let, let it go. Let it go, guys. So, Muslim scholars disagree. Guys, are you with me? Pay attention, guys. Some Muslim scholars disagree. What else is new? No scholar will ever agree 100% with another scholar. Because... Islam is a mass confusion. What do you expect from a false god who claims to be Allahu Ahad? Allah is one of. So Islam and the book of Islam, the Quran, and all the scholars and all the hadith are nothing but contradictions. One ayah contradicts another ayah. So they have to disagree. And some of them include also the Sabians. 
right? They include the Sabians and the Zoroastrians. But wait a second. Wait a second. Are the Sabians and the Zoroastrians actually people of the book? Some scholars, some Muslim scholars will say yes. Some Ustaz, some Imam will say, from speaking from Kaif Hira, the Jews and the Nasara and the Sabians Sab and the Zoroastrians right, are the people of the book. Book, book. And others will say no. Right? And the Muslims of today are basically the Sunni, the majority Sunni Muslim world, the 85%, let's say. And the second biggest group or sect in Islam is 15%. And there are some very small sects that we, you know, they are so tiny that we left out basically, right? Right? So these are the two biggest ones, the Sunni and the Shia, that curse each other left and right, hate each other left and right, started killing each other from the very beginning, in the first generation after the death of Muhammad. The first generation of companions of Muhammad started to kill each other left and right. This is how peaceful this religion is, right? It was all about power. This fake code was created for a man by one man for his own sexual desires and power. And when he died, immediately the Muslims started to leave Islam left and right, right? Remember the Rida Wars? And when Abu Bakr was in command, he waged war on the Rida, and it was called the Rida Wars, right? So from that moment on, the Shia and the Sunni, they really uh, didn't like each other much, right? <laughs> Shia even curse Aisha, they curse Hafza, they curse Omar, they curse Abu Bakr, and they call the Sunnis Bakris, right? That's what Shia call Sunnis Bakris, because they are followers of Abu Bakr, <laughs> right? And they are basically for uh, calling them Ahlul Tashayya, right? Ahlul Bayt. They are followers of Ahlul Bayt. Tashayya of Ali and his uh, household, right? And Sunnis call themselves Sunni, right? Ahlus Sunnah, the Sunnah of Muhammad. Bakris, not Baris, Bakris, Bakris. That's what Shia call Sunni, Bakris. Yeah. God bless you, Peter, my friend. God bless you. Nice to have you on board. For the people who just joined in, God bless you and your families. Thank you for your support. Nice to have you here. <clears throat> so this is a basically small introduction to understand who the people of the book are. And focus on the name Sabians, guys. Focus on the name Sabians, okay? Focus on it. Because this is going to have a huge impact in today's teaching. This is why I brought this up. So if we go to the Quran, guys. If we go to the Quran, chapter 29, ayah 27. Here we have a really devastating ayah for Muhammad. What does Rob mean? It means Rob. It's my name. Anyway, if we go to chapter 29, ayah 27, it says, And we gave to him Isaac and Jacob. To who? To Abraham, right? If we scroll back, it's about Abraham in context. So we, Allah gave to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob and placed in his descendants prophethood and scripture. You see that? Now here comes the one million dollar question. Why, why, oh why did Allah forget to mention Ishmael? Here Muhammad busted himself left and right. Here Muhammad busted himself left and right. Because when he put the name of Isaac and Jacob, he proved to the Jews, he proved to the Christians that Muhammad actually is a fake prophet because it's talking about the prophethood and the scripture, right? It's not mentioning Ishmael. Speaking from Kaif, Hira, Hira, Allah, Allah, why did you forgot to mention the name Ishmael in this ayah? ayah. Where is Ishmael? Ishmael, because this is talking about the prophethood. 
and scripture. So where is Ishmael? I think guys, Allah ate the name Ishmael here. Allah was hungry that day guys. He was hungry and he had to eat the name of Ishmael. So this ayah guys is crystal clear proof. This ayah is crystal clear proof that Muhammad, when you are a fake prophet, you're going to make mistakes. And he, Muhammad made a huge mistake. Right? He, he is trying to prove to the Jews and the Christians in his time, right? That he's the prophet from the true prophets, right? He's descended from the... But why did you forget to mention Ishmael? Uh-oh. 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 From Kaif Hira. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where is Ishmael? Ishmael. Ishmael. Right? So here, Muhammad spanked himself and busted and served himself. I mean, you know, many eyes are really making our job much easier. Right? Much easier. You see, this Abdul, Islam is peace, he's still going on and he's still posting verses of the Bible. Abdul, that's not the topic of today. Pay attention, you might learn something. I know you are suffering from Abdulism, but don't make it much worse for yourself. Now guys, if we go to chapter 5, focus with me guys. If we go to Surah Al-Ma'idah, chapter 5, Ayah 69, we can find the following. It says, Inna ladheena amanu wa hadu, who are those? The Jews, right? Wasabi'een. Sorry, Wasabi'oon. Wasabi'oon. Wan Nasara. Here it says Wasabi'oon. Right, guys? Let me type it in text. Sabi. Oon. Now pay attention to the O's, right? The O's, right? Pay attention to the O's. Sabi'oon. Wasabi'oon, right? So here it's talking about the believers who are the Jews. And the Sabians, right? And the Christians. So here, three group of people are mentioned. Those are the people of the book. Do you see it? Let me go back. So here, the Quran is talking about the Sabians, the Nasara, and the Jews. Did you catch it? Wasabi'oon. With an O. So... Pay, pay attention to the Sabians. And the, this is the word. Sabi'un. But here, if we go to another ayah, guys. Chapter 2, ayah 62. Again, it's basically copy-paste. Surely the believers and the Jews and the Nasara and the Sabi'in. Uh-oh. Here, the Sabians are, are called the Sabi'in. Uh-oh. Why? I think Allah made a huge mistake here. Guys, maybe you didn't pay attention. Let me go back. Here, the Sabians are called Sabi'oon. Sabi'oon. Right? This is chapter 5, ayah 69. Versus chapter 2, ayah 62, where they are called... Guys, pay attention. This is really important. Pay attention. Here they are called Sabi'in. Right? So which one is correct? Only one can be correct. Bam! So if Muhammad claims that Allah is truly the God, the real God, Allah would not have made such huge mistakes. It's a tribe. It's people. Are they Sabi'in or Sabi'un? Pick and choose, guys. Which one is correct? Which one is correct, Muslims? Is it Sabi'in or Sabi'un? I mean, if you claim that Allah is God, God cannot make such huge mistakes. So, Islam is peace says Sabi'in. He says Sabi'in, right? He says Sabi'in is the correct one. What about 569? Abdul, what are you going to do with this? Are you going to send the goat of Aisha? <laughs> Eating this ayah? Are you going to send the goat of Aisha who ate the ayah of stoning and adult breastfeeding? Are you going to send her to eat chapter 5, ayah 69? Meh! Nom 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 nom, right? Nom 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 nom. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Snap. 
quick before the Christians see the contradictions. Eat it, keep eating it, goat. Speaking from Kif, Hira, Hira, Hira. Muslims, Muslims, which one is correct? Which one is correct? Is it Sabi Un, 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 or is it Sabi In, In, In? Which one is it? Abdul? Yeah, this is not the only mistake, Marian. This is not the only mistakes. There are hundreds and hundreds and top of hundreds mistakes like these, right? Let me show you. Here's another one. Here is another one. Let me prove it to you. Guys, if we go to chapter Al-Baqarah, this is basically off topic, right? But we have to show you what we are trying to say here. If we go to chapter Al-Baqarah, the whole chapter is calling Abraham like this, without an E. You see? This is the E and this is the E, right, guys? Do you see it? Here, no E. Here's an E. So here, the name of Abraham, Ibrahim, is spelled like this in the whole chapter of Al-Baqarah. But in the rest of the chapters of the Quran, in, in the 113 chapters, the rest of the Quran chapters, it's spelled like this. So Allah, speaking from Kaif, Hira, Hira, is it Ibrahim or Ibrahim? Which one is it? This is a name. Which one is correct? Abdullah. Yeah, um, Phil Herrera. Don't tell the Muslims, but I am using a VPN. Don't worry, bro. Don't worry, be happy. So Muslims will never ever track us, right? So they have to make a six hour long video about me and Christian Prince too. And that's what they're doing. This is why they said last time, repent in two months or else. So they are going to make six hour video about me and Christian Prince. So guys, you have to wait. Two months, they need two months for a taqiyah video. And we are going to spank that video, don't worry. So Muslims, 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 which one is correct? Is Surah Al-Baqarah correct or the rest of the 113 chapters? Which one is correct? Correct, correct. Which one? Abdullah. Here's another one. I know this is off topic, but since we are going, let us keep it more worse for Muhammad. Let it burn, baby, let it burn, let it burn. You see, if we go to chapter 51, guys, chapter 51, ayah 39, it says, Sahir, like this, Sahir, like this. It means magician or a wizard, right? A wizard or a magician, Sahir. Here it's written like this, chapter 51, ayah 39. But if we go to this one, 51, 52, 51.52, it says Sa with an alif in the middle. You see it? Allah, Allah, which one is correct? Which one is correct? You cannot have a cake and eat it too, Allah, Allah, Allah. Which one is correct? Only one is good. You can't say both are correct. <laughs> you see, guys, then there are hundreds, hundred errors like this. Clearly, the guy who wrote the Quran. He busted himself. And this is, the proof is in front of you. The Quran is a man-made book. Because if this is from God, supposedly from God, if this is supposedly divine inspiration from the true God, as the Muslims claim, how can their God make such huge mistakes? Grammar mistakes. Yeah, Aaron, do you see it, Aaron, and others? Do you see the problem here? This is why you need to know Arabic to, to fully, fully, for the 100% expose this man-made satanic cult. Right? Let me show you a third example, and then we will go back. Because this is off topic, guys, I know. Bear with me, sorry, okay? This is the word mercy, rahmata. Rahmata. Same word. But, as you see, written totally different. In chapter 2, ayah 218. But if we go to chapter 3, 
ayah 8, it's written like this. Which one is correct, Muslims? Only one can be correct, correct, correct. Allah, Allah, speaking from Kaif, Hira, Hira. Which one is correct? Only one can be correct, correct, correct. Is it with a Te Maftuha or Te Marbuta? Seems that this Abdul, this Pakistani boy, Muslim, uh, the Muslim Muhammad and suffering from Abdulism, he stopped sp uh, spanking the room with the, uh, or the live chat with uh, spam, right? Is it Rahmata like this or Rahmata like this? Are you dying? I know uh, the Quran, guys, of Allah. The Quran of Allah is comedy, man. It's a pure comedy show. And we are laughing. My friend, if you knew Arabic, bro, if you knew Arabic, you would not stop reading and having fun and laughing at this comedy show. This is truly a comedy, a book of comedy. And you dare, you Muslims dare to say this is from God? I mean, can God make such huge mistakes? Huh? Can God make such huge mistakes? No. Because Muslims always said, the Quran is protected by Allah. The Quran, that's what they have claimed for the last 1400 years. Guys, when we ask, listen, when we ask the Shiyukh, especially the Al-Azhar, right? The Al-Azhar, who are basically a really huge authority on the Quran, right? They are the ones who compile the Quran of today. They did it when? When did they did it, guys? In nine, between 1924-25, right? 1924-25. So even Prince Philip of the UK is older than the Quran of today. Prince Philip is older than the Quran of the Muslims. Right? And later they even did a second revise, right? They changed it in 1985. Again. Yeah, 1924, 1920-ish, right? Follow the right correctly. So... When we ask these shiyukh, these imams, these PhD scholars from Al-Azhar, why are you not fixing this? You know what they say, guys? Phil, you know what, they, what their answer is? Are you trying to tell us to fix a, a thing that did not happen 1400 years ago? That's the answer, guys. And they say, Allahu Akbar. These are the high scholars, right? That's their answer. And not only that, when we ask them to fix the huge confusion in the Quran that is created by the Muslims themselves because if you go to the Quran it's not chronologically in, in good order, right guys? Chapter 1 is not the real chapter 1. Surah Al-Fatiha is not the real first chapter, right? Because if you ask a Muslim what's the, what are the first words that were given to him? Iqra, Iqra, right? Read, read. That's the first ayah. But it's not, it's not in the beginning of the Quran. When we ask them to fix the chronological order, they say, their answer is again, here, and I quote, the Muslim shiuch, and I quote, are you trying to, fake, to, to ask us to fix a problem that already existed 1400 years ago? So the whole Quran, guys, the whole Quran is a messed up, comedy book and the provings of front of it. And not only that, the Fa Al Fatiha guys, chapter one, right? Chapter one Al Fatiha was not in the Quran in the first place, right? It was added later, right? It is a prayer, right? If you go to chapter one, it's a prayer. It's not even Quran. Look, this is chapter 1. It says in the name of Allah, they, they are lying in the translation, right? Even the name Al-Rahman is not good grammar, guys. Here is an alif missing. Al-Rahman. What is the alif? So we need to ask Allah to write his name correctly. When you read it without the vowels, guys, it says Al-Rahman. What? Allah. You need to write your cor name correctly, man. You can't even write your name correctly. It says like this, guys. This is the name of Allah, according to this ayah. Rahman. 
Where's the elf, Abdul? Allah, where's the elf? Did you eat it? Were you hungry? And not only that, even the word bism. There's nothing called bism. It's bism. The L is missing here. I think the goat of Aisha, guys. Always that goat, man. Someone needs to find that goat and kill it. Maybe you, the Quran will be complete again. Let me drink something, guys. My throat, man. Anyway. <clears throat> so this chapter, guys, was not in the Quran in the first place. It was for sure not in the Quran of Ibn Mas'ud, right? The number one guy who Muhammad told you to go to regarding the recitation of the Quran. So Ibn Mas'ud did not have this chapter in the Quran, right? He did not include this because according to him, the Quran of Zayd ibn Thabit, basically the Quran of Uthman, is a deceit according to Ibn Mas'ud. He called it a deception because Zayd ibn Thabit put this in the Quran later. And here Allah is asking for guidance. Allah is asking, please Allah, Allah is asking, please Allah guide us in the straight path. That doesn't make sense. Allah needs guidance, Muslims. Allah needs guidance. Allah needs to guide, need guidance. Right? Allah says, to Allah we serve. To only you we serve. Allah is talking to himself or is he speaking to another Allah? Allah needs guidance on the straight path. Lord have mercy. Yeah, and Allah says, Alhamdulillah. Allah is saying to himself, Alhamdulillah. Or to another God. Well, uh, you know, this, this whole ayah is a huge disaster. And they repeat this, these seven ayahs, guys, in this chapter. You see seven ayahs. They repeat them 70 times a day. Without any knowledge. Without thinking about it, guys. This is a really garbage book, and the proof is in front of you guys. Anyway, let me go back. Let me go back. Where was I? Uh, I think I was here. So we were talking about the Sabians, right? So is it a Sabi'een or a Sabi'oon? Which one is correct? Muslims will say, Allahu A'lam. Allah knows best. Right? Which one is correct? I mean, these are people, right? These are Sabians. Right? Is it a Sabiun or a Sabiin? This is a copy paste, guys. Huge problems. Huge, huge problems. Allah, you cannot have a cake and eat it too. Right, guys? Let it go, guys. Let us continue. So, I went to islamqna.info, guys. This is the Salafi Sunni website. And the guy who is answering questions and issuing fatwa, this is a PhD sheikh, sheikhy sheikh. His name is Sheikh Muhammad Saleh al Munajid. Right? That's how he calls himself. So he's the guy who's answering question. This is fatwa number 300. Do you see it? And this Abdul is asking, who are Ahlul Kitab? Who are the people of the book? That's the question, guys. And the Shaykh, Mr. Shaykh Muhammad Salih al Munajid, he's going to answer, who are Ahlul Kitab? Alhamdulillah, says the Shaykh. That's always how they start. Alhamdulillah. Who are the people of the book? Right? He's going to explain who the people of the book are. Let me scroll down. Look how many, so many words, empty words. Give me the answer, man. You don't have to give us a newspaper, right? And look, his answer is, and there are certainly among the people of the scripture, those who believe in Allah. Really? Show me one Christian who believes in Allah. 
One Arabic speaking Christian who believes in Allah. There is none. Remember guys, yes, the word Allah is, our, is in our translation of, in the Arabic, right? But we were forced, we were under Islam control. Remember when they attacked Egypt, they attacked Syria, they took it with the sword of Muhammad. They forced on us. Big brother was watching. The Muslim big brother, right? They had, had and forced us to use the name Allah, which was never our God, right? So no Christian actually believes in Allah. When I pray, guys, I never use Allah. I say, Ya Rabbi, Ya Ilahi, my Lord, my God, right? Ya Rabbi, Ya Ilahi. I don't like to use Allah because this is not my God. This was forced on me because the Muslims were controlling us. They were always watching what we were doing. Even when we were translating the Bible from the Aramaic, guys, pay attention, use this, guys. When Muslims always come to you and they say, why is the name of Allah in the Arabic translation? It's a translation, right? It's a translation. It's a fake translation, actually. I don't like the Arabic translation at all because it was forced on us. Our God's name is not Allah, remember? It's Jehovah. It's the I am. It's not Allah, right? So this guy is a liar. He has no clue about re our real God, right? So I still did not get the answer. Who are Ahlul Kitab? You need, I need to scroll all the way down and uh, where's the answer, man? Okay, finally, in the last <laughs> Alinea, in the last Alinea, we can find the answer. Phew. Finally, Mr. Shaky Sheikh. You are Shaky Sheikh. You are Fadil al Sheikh. Why do you need to write a newspaper? Answer the question directly, man. People of the scripture are the Jews and the Christians. Do you see it? Finally. Let me give you the link, guys. According to this shaky sheikh, those are the Jews and the Christians. Right? But who are the Sabians, right? Some shiuch, they include the Sabians. Who are the Sabians? Can anyone in the text tell me who the Sabians are? Do you have any idea who the Sabians are? Anyone? Let me help you to help me. Help, let me help you to help me. The answer is, the Sabians were an ancient people group mentioned in the Bible as coming from a nation far away from Israel. So these were not Israelites, right guys? These people were pagans. What? They are pagans, but, but wait, Rob Christian, wait, wait, Rob Christian. Are you telling me that Allah lied? How are they pagans and believers at the same time? Right? Those are, according to the Quran, the Jews, the Sabians, and the Christians are believers. Right? But they are pagans. How is it possible to call them believers of Allah? These are pagan people, man. But Muslims have to deal with this, guys. Muslims have to deal with this problem, right? These were pagan people. Asian pa pagan people, right? They were enemies of the Jews. They did not like the Jews at all. Right? So th these were a tribe, people far away from Israel. These were not Israelites. They were a people of stature, according to Isaiah 45, 14, and a rival nation to Israel. Does it ring a bell? Guys, does it ring a bell? Maybe not, maybe yes, but let me not tell you the secret yet. I will explain to you why. So keep this in mind, guys. It's a rival nation to Israel, right? It's a rival nation, pagan nation, that are enemies, huge enemies of the Israelites. Keep this in mind, guys, because this is important, okay? Keep it in mind. These are the enemies, an enemy nation of the Israelites. They are the enemies of the people of God, because remember, God chose the Israelites to be His people, right? God had a plan, and His plan is to choose people, and those people are the Israelites, right? So these people are enemies of the people of God. So keep this in mind, because I'm going to go back to this. This is a really important subject in this teaching. So 
the Sabians lived in the land of Sheba, which archaeologically suggests was a Semitic trading state that existed for thousand years in the area that is now Yemen. So basically they are from Yemen, of today's Yemen. They, they were not Israelites, they were not believers of the one God of the Holy Bible, right? Shema Israel, the Lord is one, right? Echad. So these people were enemies of the Jews, enemies of the Israelites. Why is it so important that to know that they are enemies? I'm going to explain it to you. I'm going to explain it later, okay guys? Now if you go to the hadith, and this is a Sahih hadith, Jama'a at tirmidhi hadith number 754. Sahih, Sahih, Sahih hadith, right? Let me give you the link. Are you with me guys? Are you with me? I know this is a lot of deep stuff, but yeah, it is what it is guys. According to one of the Sahaba, he said, I met up with Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad, while he was reclining on his rida at the Zamzam. Okay. So I said, inform me about the day of Ashura. The day of Ashura. On which day is it faster? So the, one of the companions is asking another, one, on one day, on which day is Ashura faster, guys? Ashura, remember the name, Ashura. He said, when you see the crescent of Al-Muharram. Uh oh, the crescent of Al-Muharram. So the crescent is the moon, right guys? It's a moon. And these people used to worship the moon, right? And this is why Islam is a cult that is worshiping the moon idol Allah. Then count and fast on the morning of the ninth day. He said, I said, is this how Muhammad fasted? So the Sahabi is asking, is this how Muhammad fasted? He was looking at the crescent, at the moon. He said, yes. Did you catch it? Now to understand what this Ashura is, guys, and what Ramadan is, because Ramadan and Ashura, guys, are pagan practices before Islam. They already existed before Islam, right? Ashura and Ramadan are pagan festivals, right? Pagan. Ramadan was a non-Muslim pagan Arab festival. It already existed before Islam. And Muhammad practiced it be before becoming a Muslim. And he copied it, pasted it in Islam. Copy, paste. Ashura, copy, paste. And I'm going to explain to you what Ashura is. Okay, so bear with me, guys. So Ramadan already existed. The difference between the pre-Islamic Ramadan and the Islamic Ramadan is that the pre-Islamic Ramadan was practiced by pagan. Did you catch it? So Ramadan is not a new practice in Islam. It already was practiced by the pagans before Islam. Did you catch it, guys? If you didn't catch it, give me a two. Then I'm going to explain it again. Did you catch it, guys? Give me one if you ca caught it. So Ramadan is not a new practice at all in Islam. Did you catch it? Okay, great. So the pagan tribes of Arabia used to do Ramadan, practice Ramadan. Right? It's a pagan practice of fasting. Pagan practice of fasting. Yes, correct. So if we go to Sahih al-Bukhari, this is the reference, 558. 172. Narrated Aisha. Pay attention, guys. Ashura was a day on which the tribe of Quraysh used to fast in the pre-Islamic period of ignorance. So not only Ramadan, but also this celebration. So there are basically two celebrations. The Ashura and Ramadan. Ashura is not mandatory. Ramadan is mandatory, right? It, it's a must to Practice Ramadan. But Ashura is not a must. Did you catch it? That's the difference between the two. So this is a must in Islam. This is not a must. Right? So Ashura was a day on which the tribe of Quraysh, the pagan tribe of Muhammad, Quraysh, right? 
used to fast in the pre-Islamic period of ignorance. The Prophet also used to fast on this day. So Muhammad was a pagan. Uh oh, Muhammad was a pagan, pagan, pagan. You see it? So when he migrated to Medina, he fasted on it and ordered the Muslims to fast on it. You see how Muhammad copied, pasted it in Islam. It's a pagan practice. And to make it even more worse, guys, to make it even more worse. If we go to chapter 2, let me give you the link. If we go to chapter 2, Surah Al-Baqarah, the chapter of the cow. Are you with me, guys? Ayah 185. Chapter 2, Ayah 185. It says, Ramadan is the month in which the Quran was revealed as guidance to man and clear proof of the guidance and a criterion. So when you see the new moon, now pay attention, guys. Pay attention here with me. Guys, I need you to be completely focused. Why? Because most of us here in the live chat and most of us who are listening, you don't know Arabic. I do. Okay? Let me teach you something. Here is a really hidden secret. What is that? That's this. Shahru Ramadan. Shahru Ramadan. The Ramadan is the month. If you ask a Muslim, what is Shahr? What is the meaning of Shahr? They will say it's a month. But wait a second. Rob Christian is here to bust you. I'm going to spank you. Why? Because why is the same word here? You see here, do you see this word? And you see this word? Let me copy it, guys. So you can compare it. This word compared with this word. What's the difference, guys? There is no difference. It's the same word. One says month. The other one says the month, according to Muslims, right? L means the, right? It's the same word. You see it? Here, it's translated as month, right? But here, now here's the deception, guys. It's translated as the new moon. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Here, the translator really busted Muhammad badly. And here is why. Guys, Al-Shahr, 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 in today's meaning of the word, it means the moon. But before that, before that, sorry, it, sorry, let me go back. My, my mistake. I mean, I can make mistake. It's okay. Al-Shahr used to mean the moon. Okay, did you catch it? Sorry, my bad. It used to mean the moon. But the Arabic Muslims, the Arab Muslims changed it later to the month. What? What did you say, Rob Christian? Repeat again. Al-Shahr or the Shahr means the moon. Used to mean the moon. Then the Arab Muslims changed it later to the month. Did you catch it? You cannot have a cake and eat it too. Yes, I want, you know, I'm so passionate, guys. When I'm passionate, I can make mistakes, right? It's okay, it's okay. We are humans, right? So, you see the difference, guys? Here it's called the month, and here it's called the moon. Uh-oh. Did you catch it? So, the real meaning is the moon. Right? So, let me go back. Ramadan is the festival of the moon. If this is the real con uh, translation, it means Ramadan is the festival of the moon. It was always about the moon idol, guys. It has always been about the moon idol. This is a pagan religion that is worshipping the moon idol Allah. Allah, the moon idol. Did you catch it? Hence the word shahar 
If you didn't see it, let me copy paste it again. You know, because Islam is a copy paste religion. Did you see it? This means the moon. Worshippers of the moon idol. It's all about the mooning. Yes, correctly. Let me drink something, guys. <clears throat> really, my throat, man. Guys, please uh, keep me in your prayers, okay? So I can become very healthy again and do, Lord willing, more live shows like this. Right? Do you see how this is a moon cold, guys? This is a moon cold. Worshipping the moon idol, Allah, right? Do you see it? I mean, how much more proof do you want, guys? Huh? Enough is enough, right? <laughs> Rob Christian, stop spanking Islam so much, man. What's wrong with you, man? Why do you love to spank this man-made satanic cult so much? Why are you trying to prove everybody that Islam is a man-made cult by one man for his own sexual desires, for his own power lust? Remember what Aisha used to say to Muhammad? Muhammad. Aisha saying, and I quote, I see that your Lord's, that your Lord hastened to fulfill your desires, O Muhammad. ما أرى ربك إلا يسارع في هواك يا محمد. Actually, Aisha busted Muhammad, right? She knew this guy is fabricating Quran for his own sexual desires. You see that? The proof is in front of. I come on, come on, man. This word is mean meaning is the moon. They had to change it to month. Right? And the proof is in the Quran. Do you see it? Same word. Here it means the moon. Here it means month. Why? Why, why, why is it not here, the moon? So if you can read it like this, Ramadan is the new moon. Celebration of the new moon. Right? Celebration of the moon idol. Festival, fasting festival of the moon idol. How much more proof do you need, guys? It's fasting for the moon idol Allah. For Allah's sake. And this is the number one fasting in Islam, right? This is mandatory on every Muslim. Except for the sick and, you know, people who are sick, they, you know, they cannot fast. But, you know, what, when, what, what we are trying to tell you, right? Moon idol Allah. Do you see it? Bam. Pagan roots of Ramadan. Right? The pagan roots of Ramadan. <sighs> Man, I really de get disgusted to talk about this pagan religion, but it is what it is, guys. We need to show the Muslims and everybody who has no clue about real Islam, what Islam is all about, that it's nothing but a pagan religion. Pagan religion, copy-paste. And remember when I said to you guys, Remember when I told you, focus on the Sabians, right? Focus on the Sabians. Why did Muhammad actually hate the Jews so much as described in this Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 29, 26? Let me give you the link. Because Muhammad himself was a Sabian. He is a Sabian practicing pagan rituals, pagan practices like the Ramadan and he really hated the Jews because the Sabians hated the Jews, right? The Sabians hated the Jews. This is why Muhammad says in this hadith, the judgment day, the judgment hour 
will not be established until you fight the Jews, all the Jews. And the stone, even the stones will talk where the Jews are hiding behind. Oh Muslim, look, pay attention guys. According to Muhammad, the, Jew, the stones will talk. They will say, oh Muslims, there is a Jew behind me, hiding behind me, so come and kill him. Muhammad hated the Jews because he was a nice pagan Sabian boy. A nice little pagan Sabian boy. Remember we told you, we explained to you guys, let me go back. Uh, we told you to remember this small sentence, right guys? The Sabians were a rival, enemies, an enemy nation to the Israelites, to the people of God, right? The chosen people of God in the Old Testament. You see why Muhammad hated the Jews? Because he was a nice pagan boy. Muhammad was a Sabian. What did you say, Rob Christian? Muhammad is a Sabian, speaking from Cave Hira. Muhammad is a Sabian, 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 Sabian. Did you catch it? Conclusion, Sabians were enemies of the Jews. This is why he hated the Jews. <laughs> What's the link? Let me give you the link, guys. Someone is asking me for the. Here's the link. Copy it. Save it. Bookmark it. All right. You see how we are showing you and are concluding that Muhammad is a Sabian. Don't say this is Rob Christian's word. Let me prove it to you. Guys, let me prove to you that Muhammad was actually a Sabian, okay? Pay attention. If you want to know and want proof that Muhammad was a Sabian, here comes my proof. Give me a one if you're with me. Guys, give me a one that to know that you are with me and you are paying attention, okay? Let me prove to you that Muhammad is a Sabian. From the Islamic sources. Alright. This is Sahih Al-Bukhari. Let me give you the link. Are you with me guys? Long hadith. I know. I know. Sahih Al-Bukhari. Hadith number 344. Right? Let me post the reference also in the room. Sunnah.com. Official Sunnah hadith. Authentic hadith website this is a very long hadith and i want to spare you right it's talking basically about that the muslims wanted water and there was a woman right there was a woman who was standing and watching how the companions getting water right that's actually the context of the story now if we continue reading, guys, pay attention. If we continue reading, it says that the Prophet of Islam, Allah is praying on him. In the meantime, Allah is still praying, ordered us to collect something from the lady, right? From this woman. So dates, flowers, sawiq were collected, whatever, which amounted to good meal. And if we continue reading, continue, it's a really long hadith. The woman, she said, she said, a strange thing, two men met me and took me to the man. Who is that man? It's Muhammad, right? It's talking about Muhammad, who is called the Sabi. Oh, 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 who is Muhammad? How is he called? The Sabi, which is the singular for Sabian. Sabians, right? Sabians. So it's called the Sabian. Muhammad is called the Sabian. This is Sahih al-Bukhari, guys. Don't blame me. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Sahih hadith. And he did such and such, such and such, always three times, right? <laughs> Lord, I miss. Muhammad had to do things three times, right? Always three times. By Allah, he's either the greatest magician. So she's calling him the greatest magician. 
right? Between this and this. She made a gesturing with her index and her middle fingers, raising them to the, towards the sky, indicating to the heaven and the earth. Or he's Allah's true apostle. You see? So this is talking about Muhammad, the Sabian. <laughs> Muhammad is the Sabian, right? Someone is calling me on, on the phone, but I will not pick up because I'm in. Okay, my brother is calling. I'll call him later, guys. Don't worry. So Muhammad is the Sabian here. If we scroll down. If we scroll down. He is called a Sabian for a second time. Or was it up? Let me go up. Bear with me, guys. Okay, it's long hadith. If I do a search, this is the, you see two times, he's called two times Sabian, you see it? He is called, do you mean who is called the Sabian? And then again, he's called the Sabian, do you see it? Twice. I only search for this word, right guys? Let me make it bigger. I only search for this word twice, you see? He's twice called the Sabian, do you see it? You see it? Guys, did you catch it? So twice in this hadith, Muhammad is called the Sabian. Right? The proof is in front of you that Muhammad was a Sabian. And he is the enemy of the Jews from the beginning already. This is why Muslims hate Jews. Because, the, because their prophet is a Sabian. Right? You see why Muhammad hated the Jews? The enemies of, sorry, the, the people of God. He was the true enemy of the people of the book. Right? The enemy of the people of the Holy God. Right? The Holy God of the Holy Bible. I'm good, Black Angel, but I'm still not 100% recovered. I'm still a little bit sick, okay? So please keep me in your prayers. So the proof is in front of you that Muhammad is called a Sabian. Right? Let me give you the source so you will not call me a liar. I hope the Muslims are watching and they are shocked that their prophet is a Sabian. Right? If we go back to the Quran, surely the believers and the Jews, the Jews, the Nasara and the Sabians. Do you see it? It's in the Quran. Muhammad is a Sabian. Right? This is why he wanted the Jews dead. The last hour, the judgment hour will not be established. It will not come if not all the Jews are dead. You see how much Muhammad hated the Jews. And you see how Muhammad is actually the worst enemy of the people of God, the real God, the true living God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So, conclusion is, Muhammad is the follower of Satan, because Satan hates the people of God. Bam! Bam! Conclusion, Muhammad is a Satanist. Thank you, Black Angel. God bless you. Thank you. I appreciate it. How much more proof do we need to show you that Muhammad is a Satanist? He who hates the people of God, spanked, served, busted. Right? And Muhammad is a Sabian according to the hadith of in Sahih al-Bukhari. About Ashura, guys, about the Ashura, Muhammad actually stole this from the Jews. Muhammad stole this from the Jews, right? Ashura, guys, Muhammad stole that also from the Jews because the Jews had the Day of Atonement, which is Yom Kippur. What? Yom Kippur. The Day of Atonement. Because he was so jealous of the Jews who rejected him, he needed to create a similar pagan 
we prove to you that Ashura is a pagan religion practiced before Islam, right? It's a pagan ritual, it's a pagan practice, not mandatory in today's Islam. Muhammad did practice this though, but he got it from the Jews, right? It's Yom Kippur, and Yom Kippur is the most important day for the, for the Jews, right? It's the day of atonement. Do you see it? It's the most sacred and Solomon day in the Jewish calendar. Right? And Muhammad, because he wanted to copy the Jews, always copying the Jews, he took this and made it basically a counter ritual and according to Islam Ashura commemorates the day that Allah <laughs> Allah yeah right Allah saved the children of Israel <laughs> we proved in the, in the beginning guys that Allah is certainly not Jehovah of the Holy Bible different God right <laughs> anyway Lord have mercy. So according to this ayah, Allah saved the children of Israel. So it's actually copy-paste. Right? Copying the Jews. And he called it Ashura. But actually it was a, what? A pagan practice. And if we go to the hadith, again, Sahih al-Bukhari, let me give you the link. When the Prophet, Allah is praying on him, arrived at Medina, he noticed that some people among the Jews used to respect Ashura. No, no, no. Jews don't practice Ashura. The Jews practice Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur, right? You see it? How, I, how he's lying about the Jews? There is no Jew who calls Yom Kippur Ashura. This proves that Muhammad had no clue what the Jews actually practiced. <laughs> and he called it Ashura. <laughs> what did he do? Look guys, look at this comedy guys. Look at this comedy. Guys, pay attention. Give me a one. Look at this comedy. According to Muhammad, i.e. this is the 10th of the Muharram. So basically, uh, uh, the month around month September because they start counting from December, right? Kanun al awwal, Kanun al tani, right? So they start counting. If you count from December all the way to September, you'll get 10 months, right? And the Jews, according to Muhammad, used to fast on it. That's a lie. The Jews never called it Ashura, and we proved it to you, right? They call it Yom Kippur. When is Yom Kippur? In September, right? Or October. Depends on in which year you are living, right? As you see, Sunday 20, 27th of September. So it's called Yom Kippur. There's nothing called Ashura, right? And what did Muhammad say? Look at the comedy, guys. Pay attention. Muhammad is saying, then said, We have more right, according to Muhammad, he has more right to observe fast on this day and order that fasting should be observed on it. <laughs> Copying from the Jews. And how, uh, Muhammad, Muhammad, are you joking? Muhammad, are you joking? How are you, have, why, how do you deserve more than the Jews? First of all, the Jews don't practice Ashura. Their day is called Yom Kippur. So here, this is a bust. Bust number one. Right? Bus number one. Jews don't practice Ashura. That's number one. And number two, if you're going to call it Yom Kippur, how does Muhammad have more right for this day while Jews don't Practice it.
You see, uh, Ashura Kshatra is actually a pagan practice before Islam. We prove it to you before, right? It's, uh, where did I? It's a pagan, it's a pagan practice, like Ramadan, right? You see it, Ashura was the day on which the tribe of the Quraysh used to fast in the pre-Islamic period. Did you catch it? So Muhammad thought, Muhammad had no clue, and he thought that this is the same practice. But this is a practice by the pagans. Do you see it? So Muhammad confused, guys, pay attention. Muhammad confused Yim Kapoor, sorry if I'm butchering the name, with the pagan Ashura. We can, we can make this conclusion now, right guys? Give me one if you're with me. Did you catch it? Muhammad confused Yim Kapoor with the pagan Ashura. Is this a prophet of God, guys? Is this a prophet of God? Can we call this man a prophet of God? Or should we call him a Sabian pagan? Right? So here Muhammad truly confused himself. He even could not copy and paste it perfectly. <laughs> Why are you calling it Ashura? That's not what the Jews practice. They celebrate Yom Kippur. Right? They don't celebrate Ashura. Lord have mercy, guys. Pagan religion on top of pagan religion. It's a pagan cult. Islam is a pagan cult. Muhammad was confused. Right? This is why we say Ramadan, Ashura. And this is why we claim with enough proof for everybody to see. And you are my witnesses that Islam has pagan roots. Ramadan, Ashura are pagan. Right? And we prove to you that Ramadan is the celebration of the moon. Right? It's the celebration of the moon. Right? Ashar, the moon. Right? We proved it from the Quran. Do you see it? This is the translation for this word, the moon. Right? So Ramadan is the celebration of the moon and Ashura is the practice of the pagans, right? Right? It is the practice of the pagans before Islam. Hence why Islam is a pagan religion, right guys? If we continue, guys, <clears throat> Not only that, let me prove more to you that Islam is a pagan cult. This is a hadith from a Tirmidhi, Jama Tirmidhi, hadith number 871. Sahih, Sahih, Sahih. It says the following. Look what it's saying. I don't want to read the entire hadith because it's very long and we are already for a long time life but it says no one, it's no one is allowed muhammad did not allow anyone to go around tawaf is basically going around the kaaba right that's what they call tawaf so going naked around the kaaba you see the muslims and the pagans before Muhammad ordering that there are no pagans allowed anymore because they are filthy, right? Remember, Hadith, uh, sorry, Quran chapter 9, ayah 28. The pagans are not allowed, the mushrikun are najis, right? They are not allowed to enter Mecca anymore. Not come near Masjid al-Haram. But before that, even in the time of Muhammad, the Muslims and the pagans used to go naked around the Kaaba. This, guys, was a Sabian practice because we showed you, we proved to you that Muhammad was a Sabian, right? We proved it already. So, 
the Muslims in the time of Muhammad and the pagans used to go naked around the Kaaba. Not only that, guys, they used to have sexual orgies around the Kaaba. They were <coughs> boing boing around the Kaaba. Right? I don't want to say the word, right? Bam, bam, bam around the Kaaba. Boing boing around the Kaaba. Orgies, man. And they went around it naked. But then Muhammad forbid it, right? He forbid it. From another hadith, let me give you this link too. This is from Sahih al-Bukhari. No pagan is allowed to perform Hajj after this year. This is chapter 9, ayah 28, right? From the Quran. And no naked person, you know, Muslims naked used to go naked around the Kaaba, right? So no pagan is allowed to perform Hajj after this year and no naked Muslim Pagan is allowed to perform tawaf, going with circles around the Kaaba. Bam! See? Guys, this ritual going around the Kaaba is another Sabian practice. Because Muhammad was a Sabian, he did nothing but a copy-paste in his new man-made religion called Islam. Bam! Pagan on top of pagan. Pagan on. How many more pagan rituals do you have in Islam, guys? Islam is nice, copy paste pagan religion, a new pagan religion. And not only that, guys, even the name of the city, because, guys, if we go and try to find any historical map, in the time of Muhammad, we can find Mecca. Remember Dan Gibson? Remember Dan Gibson, his research? There's nothing called Mecca. There was no Mecca on any map. Why? It, not, it did not exist. Petra did exist because the early mosque, guys, if you watch Dan Gibson, his live show together with DCCI, Dan Gibson was providing with clear, crystal clear evidence that the early Kaabas, the early built Kaabas, all faced Petra. And even the name of the city, guys, Mecca, was the name of the ancient moon god of the Sabians. What? Yes, correctly. Their god was called Mecca. Becca, Mecca, whatever you want to call it. So the god of the Sabians, the moon god of the Sabians was called Mecca. Uh-oh. You see why, where the name Mecca comes from? It's nothing but worshipping of the moon idol. Islam, the name of the city, everything is worshipping about worshipping of the moon idol. Right? Everything is around of the worshipping of this moon idol. Idol, la, bad, whatever you want to call him. Seen, Mecca, right? Let me type it for you here. These are all names for the moon idol. Hubal. So Muhammad was a nice Sabian boy, right? We proved it already. He was called a Sabian, right? You see? Sabians. It's all about the Sabians. Muhammad was a nice Sabian boy. Pagan boy. How many more evidence and proof do you want from me? Right? So like we said, Muhammad was a nice little pagan Sabian boy. He used to practice pagan rituals, pagan festivals. Ramadan was pagan. Ashura was pagan. Going circles around the Kaaba was pagan practice. So conclusion, Sabians were the enemies of the people of God, the Jews, the chosen people of God in the Old Testament. This is why Muhammad hated the Jews. 
BAM! Did you catch it? Guys, don't forget to subscribe, please. Smash that like button. And click on the notification bell to receive notifications when we go live like today. Help me to help you guys. You already know by now how YouTube works. So if you like our work, our teaching, our refutation of this man-made cult, this man-made pagan cult, please help me to help you. Support our work. Keep us in your prayers. Keep the admins in your prayers who are always doing a nice job helping me in the live chat. And we proved before, and we will prove over and over, that according to chapter 48, ayah 9, you as a Muslim have to worship Muhammad day in, day out, every morning and evening. You have to glorify Muhammad. لِتُؤْمِنُ بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَتُعَزِّرُوهُ وَتُوَقِّرُوهُ وَتُسَبِّحُوهُ the Rasul. Because the last person is mentioned is the Rasul. So you have to worship and glorify because glorification is an act of worship, right? Muslims, tasbih is only for God. And who's the God here? Muhammad is the God because he's the last person. And according to basic Arabic grammar rules, the last person mentioned in a, in a sentence, all the words that come after the last person are for the last person. So you have to assist Muhammad in battle. You have to honor him and you have to glorify him every morning and evening. Alright? Who? Muhammad, the messenger. Did you catch it? And thank you for the admins for posting this in the live chat. Rob Christian, you don't know Arabic. Yeah. Yeah, guys, sometimes I, sometimes, I'm a, I'm a human. I make mistakes when I read, right? Even when I read English, I make mistakes. It's okay, I'm a human. Sometimes when I mis misread an ayah, I mean, we can all make mistakes. Now, the, the Muslims, you know what they do? They say, hey, Christian Prince, you don't know Arabic. You can't read Arabic. So they make videos because they are desperate. And this is, Islam is an act of desperation, right? They make videos about how we make reading mistakes sometimes. I mean, we're humans. Everybody makes a mistake, right? Guys? So a couple days ago, someone uh, recorded a part of my live show and I misread an eye. Well, that's OK. I'm a human. Can I make mistakes? Am I, am I God like Muhammad? Am I the God of Islam like Muhammad? I mean, if Allah can make mistakes, why can I not make mistakes? I'm a human being. I can read and make mistakes while I'm reading. That's okay, man. That, that does not mean that uh, I'm busted or spanked by you Muslims. Oh, Rob Christian, you cannot read. Hmm. What a desperate act, man. Shame on you. So did Allah, when he put the name of Abraham like this in Surah Al-Baqarah, was he right here or right here? Only one can be correct, man. Both cannot be correct. Because in one chapter, in the whole chapter of Al-Baqarah, the cow, chapter 2. Guys, this is chapter 2. The name of Abraham appeared like this in the Quran. And it still exists. This is the Hafs Quran, guys. This is Hafs. This is not uh, any other... Uh, Version, right? This is the most used version in the Islamic world. This is Hafs Quran. Yeah, the, the same liar and deceiver Hafs, who, whose all his hadith were rejected, right? Same guy, right? But the rest of the Quranic uh, uh, chapters, the rest of the 113 chapters, wrote the name of Abraham like this with an E. Here's an E, here's no E. You see it? So, which one is correct? Muslims say, Allahu A'lam. Allah knows best. Yeah, and we made a long live show about this, guys. We made a live show about this. So if you are interested, go and watch it. And thank you, uh, Phil Horea, for providing the link. Guys, if you want to watch 
this teaching, I this is an old teaching, right, from me. So if you are interested, go watch it. Help me to help you to see how we provided examples like these, right? Where Allah kept making mistakes. I mean, if this is God, guys, and you Muslims claim that this is God, this is not God, this is the moon idol, right? We already proved it. You know, we already proved that. Deal with it. That Allah is the moon idol. But if you claim that this is the living God, the true God, how can Allah, the so-called God of Islam, how can he make mistakes like these? This is the same word. Is, it, is this one correct? Or is this one correct? Both cannot be correct. Right, guys? Are you with me, guys? You cannot have a cake and eat it too. Guys, let me prove to you that I'm not lying. Let me show you the, directly these ayahs from the Quran to show you that Muhammad busted himself in, the, in this man-made book. Let us go to chapter 51, ayah 39, okay? This is Quran.com. The number one website for the Quran. You see? This is Quran.com, right? Let me go to chapter, which one was it? Chapter 51, Ayah 39. Chapter 51. To show you that we are not lying. Maybe some Muslims won't believe me, right? Chapter 51, Ayah 39. You see? This is the Ayah. Chapter 51, Ayah 39. You see the word? Magician. Sahir. Sahirun. Sahirun. Right? Sahir. Sahirun. And if we go to 5152, let me open another link, guys. Chapter 51. I, uh, what was it? 52 this time. Bear with me, guys, okay? Hope, hope you are focused with me. Same chapter, right? Different ayah. This is the word. Do you see it? Here without an alif. Guys, here without an alif. Here with an alif. Same word. Let me play the recording for you guys. Watch. Listen, guys. Listen carefully. Sahirun. Sahirun. Different ayah. Sahirun. Same word. <laughs> Did you catch it? So guys, which one is correct? Allahu A'lam. Allah knows best. That's what the Muslims will say. Both cannot be correct, Muslims. Deal with it. If you are really sincere with yourself, you have to deal with the fact that the writer of the Quran, the one who wrote the Quran, made huge errors like these and there are hundreds on top of hundreds like these examples this is why we always tell you to fully refute islam you need arabic i know david wood is doing an amazing job sam shamon doing always an amazing job but unfortunately they don't know arabic like cp or me rc right to fully expose this man-made cult this satanic cult Unfortunately, you need to know the Arabic. Yeah, and or is the correct one according to uh, Princess Rainbow. <laughs> this is the correct one, right? Not both. <laughs> not, not this one. <laughs> You're killing me over here, guys. You're killing me. <laughs> yeah, this is a garbage book. Burn it. If you have the Quran at home, burn it. It's a garbage book, man. How can you call? How dare you to call this book from God? How dare you? Can God make such mistakes? No. The answer is no. <laughs> from Kif, Hira, Hira. Can God claim to be God and make such mistakes? Mistake? The answer is no. The Shiuch will say no. Why no? Why no? Only one can be correct, right, Muslims? And like we said, this is the house, guys. This is not the Warsh. Right? You know, I found a really huge de deception, guys. 
this is not only embarrassing guys you know to actually fix things i'm going to prove to you that islam is nothing but taqiyya deception on top of deception let me go to chapter 20 i94 this word ya ibn umma ya ibn umma means o oh, son of my mother o oh, son of my basically my brother right <laughs> o oh, son of my mother my brother ya ibn umma this is the same word ya ibn umma ya ibn umma right ya ibn umma chapter 20 94 same chapter chapter 20 i 94 let me show you the deception guys this is quran.com halves right 94 this is the word let me make it bigger guys this is the word do you see it this is not my website this is the official islamic website quran.com the number one website right guys the number one website in the world for the quran now if we go to another website let me show you the deception same chapter chapter 20 guys pay attention if you actually love our teaching you have to pay attention because i'm going to show you the deception here watch and learn chapter 20 ayah which which one was which was the ayah guys 2094 right 2094 this is the word now pay attention let me go back chapter 20 ayah 94 let me scroll down this is a different website right owned by muslims also an official Islamic website for the Quran. This is the website that uh, Christian Prince uses, by the way, guys. 94. I'm almost there, guys. Pay attention. <laughs> right? Qala yabna ummi. Uh-oh. 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 You see? This is the word. This website write it like this. This website like write it like this. <laughs> you see that guys? You see the deception. The guy of this website had to fix this is still the house guys. This is house Quran. Guys, when we ask college students, university students, Arabic speaking college students to read this word they cannot read it they have to read it like this because they are they cannot read this word so this guy of this website had to change his quran use taqiyya deception to fix it yabna umma let me play the recording guys uh, listen carefully again again let me play it here, from here. Yabna umma. You see? <laughs> Yabna umma. Which one is the right one, Muslims? You cannot have a cake and eat it too. Deception. Not only, not only the elif is missing, guys. It's written separate. And you see the elifs here. So which one is the correct one? Liars, you filthy deceivers. You see it? Deception. Same ayah, same chapter, same ayah. For 94. 94. Do you see it? This is the word, right? Do you see it? You see how they use deception, guys? Even when they use the same version of the Quran. Filthy liars. Shame on you. Fixing the Quran of Allah with your own hands. And you dare to say that Jews and Christians corrupted the Bible? Shame on you, Muslims. Shame on you. Take screenshots, guys. Let me give you. Same chapter, right? Different Quran website. Shame on you, Muslims, for using taqiyya to fix the Quran of Allah. Right? These are the two different websites. You see it? Same chapter. Shame on you, Muslims, fixing the Quran of Allah in the same chapter, same ayah. So which one is correct, Muslims? How dare you to call us 
people who corrupted their holy book. Shame on you to point fingers at us while you cannot even look at your own mirror how you are corrupting the Quran of Allah. Which one is correct, Muslims? Shame on you. Again, I think the only the or is correct, right? Princess Rainbow. I have to agree with you. Because the Quran is a garbage book, this is why they need to fix, 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 right? Fix. Fix. Same word. Shame on you, Muslims, for deception. You see, guys, the 90% of the Islamic world, they cannot read and understand. They don't know Arabic. I know I want, I went really off topic today a lot of times, I know, but it is what it is. We need to prove to you that this is a man-made cult. The book of this man-made cult needs to be fixed by Muslim hands, right? Guys, can you give me one minute? Give me one minute. I need to make a quick call. I will be right back. One minute, guys. Okay, bear with me. I'll be right back. I'll be back. Terminator 2. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry for that. You know, I had to really do a quick phone call. So, today we proved to you guys that Islam is a pagan cult created by a pagan guy called Muhammad. This is why he hated the Jews. And we proved to you from Sahih al-Bukhari that Muhammad was a Sabian, right? We proved it. Right? Let me give you the link. Help me to help you. Save the link. Bookmark it. Do whatever you need to do. Also, don't forget to download our video when I'm done teaching. You know, YouTube guys needs like an hour to process a YouTube video, right? especially what's, when it's as long as this one. So you need to, you know, have some patience. Then after an hour, download the video, right? Please help me to help you download our videos. I know you love Christian Prince, but please, guys, sharing is caring. Share your love with me too, right? Share your love with Sam Shamoun. Share your love with David Wood. Download our videos. Show everybody on social media, guys. Upload our videos. Show everybody that Islam is nothing but a man-made cult. Copy-paste. Pagan religion. Right? Let me open my Skype, guys. I can learn to understand you. Really? Oh, okay. I have a woman, man, in my, in my computer. She's talking. <laughs> anyway, let me open up my Skype. Hopefully, we will have an Ustaz. Right? That hopefully, we will have an Ustaz or a Muslim who, who will dare to call us. Oh, I see I missed a call. Let me call this Abdul back, guys. Pick up, Abdul, pick up. This is the Abdul, guys, who calls himself Muslim warrior. I'm calling him. Proof, my proof is for everybody to see. This is the guy who is calling himself Muslim warrior. <laughs> and he's the boyfriend of that Islam is peace guy who was spamming the chat. I think he's gone now. Right? See, he's not picking up. All right? You said, look guys, let me make it bigger. He's saying, why you run away from me, coward? I just did. You ended your live sh chat while I called. Christian robber, I dare you to debate me. I'm here, man. Call me, you filthy liar. Then I told him I was live for 1.5 hours. And you finally decided to call me when I was already closing all my apps and program. My live show. 
you are truly a smart Abdul, right? Listen, stop crying. Call me on my next live show. That's today. That's now. Just make sure to say Bismillah three times and also eat your seven ajwa in the morning before you call me. So I told him, hold your horses. No one is running from you, Raffle. Where is the Abdul when you need him, man? Rob Christian, you're lying. You're a robber. That's what he's calling me, robber. Right? Where is this Abdul, man? Let me try to call him again. I'm not sure. Where, you know, he seems, he looks like a way, but that means he still can receive calls, right? Yalla, ya Muslim warrior. Ya Muslim warrior. Ya Mr. Jihadi boy, hero. Yalla, ya hero. I don't think... Uh... Rob Christian, you are running! You are finished! Oh, Rob Christian, you are finished! Mimi Hijab, you are finished! Yeah, right. Suddenly, he is silenced in the name of Allah, right? Allah is making him to be silent. Guys, to show you that we are actually having fun with these Abduls, this guy has a YouTube page, all right? This guy has a YouTube page. Guys, are you with me? Is my sound still okay? Guys, are you still with me? Give me one, please. This guy has a YouTube page, okay? Let me show you who this guy is. It's the same guy, guys. He calls himself the Muslim warrior. Do you see it? This is the guy. Let me give you, give me his YouTube page to you, okay? This is the guy, okay? So this guy is making videos about me and uh, he calls me the same guy I just called. It's the same guy, right? Maybe we can see his face. Show me your face, Rob Christian. Look, he's making videos about David Wood. By the way, I'm from uh, the UK, guys. Muslims. If you want to hunt me down, I'm from the UK, according to YouTube, okay? Rob Christian! Where are you? Show me your face. I'm from the UK, man. Find me in the UK. So he's making videos about me, about uh, Christian Prince, about the apostate prophet, about uh, many, many, Sam Shamoon, right? And the funny thing is, guys, let me show you when I was, when I was on his uh page right are you with me guys are you still with me uh mark marco polo wait okay let me finish this then you can call me guys this is the same guy right he posted this comment this huge copy paste you know muslims are copy paste right okay read with me is the screen big enough guys is the screen big enough can you read this or not is it big enough for you or should I make it bigger? Guys, is this good enough? Okay, good enough. Okay. So this guy was posting the following and I, I found it and I needed to spank him and I hope that he would call me, right? Rob Christian, you're running. Yeah, I'm running, dude. Look what he said. Those who leave Islam, guys, pay attention to this Abdul, this liar, this deceiver. Those who leave Islam are free to do so. Is that so? You filthy liar. You filthy liar. Yeah, 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 Gazab ibn Gazab. Yeah, son of Muta. You filthy liar. Look what his prophet is saying. He just called his own prophet a liar, guys. His own prophet said this. The messenger of Allah, according to the cousin of Muhammad. The messenger of Allah. S-A-W, S-A-W, Allah is praying on Muhammad, said, whoever changes his religion, kill him. Do you see it? This is Sahih Hadith, from Surah An-Nisa, sorry, from the Hadith, from An-Nisa. Let me give you the link, guys. An-Nisa, sorry, An-Nisa. Sunan An-Nisa, Hadith number 40, 59. Sunan al Nisa'i, hadith number 4059. What does it say? Muhammad said, Whoever changes his religion, kill him. 
what this this Abdul say? Those who leave Islam are free to do so. Do you see it? Let me make it bigger, guys, for the people who need glasses. And I'm not insulting anyone who is wearing glasses. I love you guys. <laughs> Don't worry. So this guy, look at his lying, man, lying without any shame. Pure taqiyya, exactly, pure deception. This guy is haunting me, guys. Rob Christian, you're finished. Who's finished? You're a filthy liar. Son of Muta. You see, this is, this is the hero, guys. This is the number one guy who is hunting me down. Ya Gizab, Gizab by the way guys means liar. Ya Gizab ibn Gizab. Son of liar, liar son of a liar. You see guys why we always say? You see why we always say Muslims when they wake up, during their breakfast they eat seven ajwa and they eat taqiyya to use taqiyya the whole day, right? This is the guy, guys. This is the guy who was calling me. This is him. Muslim warrior, do you see it? Muslim warrior. This is the guy. <laughs> anyway. Hey, welcome Kuhang. Welcome everybody who just joined in. You missed a lot of teachings today guys so if you are interested in today's teaching help me to help you go rewatch my live show again when we are done today so please rewatch it we did a huge damage today to the pagan Islam to the pagan prophet of Islam fake prophet so you dare to lie and say those who leave Islam are free to do so you filthy animal you filthy liar. You are son of, of Muta. You just called your own prophet a liar, Abdul. Thank you for making my job much easier. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't even need to call this guy to bust him, right? <laughs> you filthy liar. <laughs> Guys, really, this guy is killing me, man. This guy is killing me with this taqiyya, man. Not only that, this is just one lie. Look, let me scroll. So he was quoting a, a hadith, guys. That some people left Islam and Muhammad didn't do anything. You can see, look what he's saying. Number two, you can see exactly that the, that the Bedouin became Muslim and left Islam and the Prophet never killed him. Well, my friend, you know what you're doing? You are showing us, you are making it much worse for Muhammad. You guys, pay attention what is happening here. According to this guy who is quoting hadith from Sahih al-Bukhari, he is clearly showing us that Muhammad was a what? Hypocrite, a munafiq. Because in one hadith, Muhammad is saying, whoever changes religion, kill him. So when you're a Muslim and you leave Islam, you must be killed. You're showing us that your prophet is a hypocrite. Your prophet is a munafiq. Can you be a prophet of God? The one million dollar question to the audience. Can you call yourself a prophet of God and contradict yourself this hor horrible way? No. You see, he's showing us that his prophet is a hypocrite. <laughs> ah, this is too much fun, guys. Too much fun for Rob Christian. Thank you for showing us that Muhammad is a hypocrite prophet. You cannot have a cake and eat it too, Mr. Prophet of Islam. You cannot say th that it's okay for someone to leave Islam without being killed. But in another hadith from Sahih al-Bukhari saying the opposite. Whoever changes his religion, kill him. Sahih hadith, right? Let me continue. Let me keep busting this Abdul who is trying to bust Rob Christian, spanking Rob Christian. This is the same. Look, he's giving, right? He's giving himself a heart. <laughs> Guys, this guy, this guy is so proud about himself. He's giving himself hearts, man. 
He loves himself, this guy. You can clearly, again, he's repeating, you can clearly see how the Prophet condemned his companions doing by killing innocent disbelievers and apostates. Well, your Prophet ordering the killing of people who leave Islam. Thank, thank you again for showing us for the second time that your Prophet is a hypocrite munafiq. Yeah, this guys, this is the same guy, right? Right? Not only that, let me continue. Look what he's saying more. So how much do I need to bust this guy, guys? According to this guy, as long as unbelievers don't fight, fight it. What is fight it, man? Go correct your English. You are attacking me for sometimes making mistakes when I read. That's okay. We're only humans. We make mistakes when we read. As long as unbelievers don't fight it, fight it. Don't fight. Where's the... Don't. Okay. This is how he writes don't. And he's attacking me for my Arabic. And he's writing fight it instead of fight. As long as unbelievers don't fight, that's the way to correct, to write it correctly. Muslims physically, then they are, what is, look guys what he's saying. Then they are free to do anything they want. You filthy liar. What did your prophet say in chapter 9? You filthy liar. Let me prove this liar. Let me show you the lies of this Abdul using Taqiyya. Chapter 9, Ayah 29. Fight those who, beloved, who, who, does not, who do not believe in Allah and the last day. And do not forbid what God and his messenger have forbidden. Such men have practiced not the religion of truth. Being of those who have been given the book. Who are those? The Jews and the Christians. Until they pay jizya. There's nothing called tribute. It's jizya, right? A jizya. An yadin wahim sagirun. This is false translation, guys. Let me get you the correct translation. Let's see if this guy is using taqiyya when he's translating the Quran. Look how they filthy liars. Let me change the translation. Text, right? Jizya is text, guys. Filthy liars. Again, Maududi is another liar. Let me change till we get the right translation. Filthy liars. Still text. You filthy liars. <laughs> How many more false translation? Let me go Yusuf Ali. Filthy liars. Oh, finally. Pages yeah. In Feeling subdued. This Disgraced. Sagiru means small, right? Literally, it means small. Subdued. Feel disgraced. With disgra being disgraced. You see how this guy just lied, man? What did this guy, this Muslim warrior said? As long as the unbelievers don't fight it, fight it, yeah? Muslims physically, then they are free, and I quote, they are free to do anything they want. Are we allowed to not pay jizya without being killed, you filthy liar, ya son of muta'a, ya gazab ibn gazab, ya hypocrite munafiq, same like your prophet. Are we allowed to not pay jizya and go away with it, or are you going to kill us? You filthy liars. Shame on you, Muslims, for lying to us. You see, the, you see how they are lying, guys? We are free to do anything, right? You are a hypocrite, munafiq. You filthy lie. And you, and you guys, you, you Christians are telling us to go easy on these liars. You want me to go easy on these liars? You see, how many times did I bust him already in this? In one copy-paste of this guy. Let me make it smaller, guys. He's giving himself a heart, okay? You're really something, bro. Muslim liar, we busted you here, we busted you here, we busted you here, and we busted you here. Four times, guys. Ya munafiq ibn munafiq. Ya hypocrite ibn hypocrite. And this guy is uh, hunting me down. You, robber, you, you're running from me. 
You are running from me. Yeah, right. I'm running for you. <laughs> I'm running from you. Yeah, let me let me go to it. He's making a lot of videos about Christians, right? Look, look, man. Rob Christian runs away. I'm running from him, guys. <laughs> Call me, Abdul. I'm here. My Skype is open, man. You filthy liar. I'm running from you, yeah? Call me then. We are alive. We are here. We are here. Oh, wait. You already got spanked, man. You filthy animal. You Satan worshiper. Because these people are Satan worshippers like their prophet, guys, who was a nice pagan Sabian boy, Muhammad himself, they have to use taqiyya, right? Like their prophet. Where are you, Mr. Keyboard Jihadi boy? Rob Christian, you're finished! You are you're running, man! Yeah, I'm running. See? Rob Christian is running. Yeah, I'm running. I'm here. I'm running. Guys, <clears throat> I am getting a lot of phone calls on my actual physical phone. Right? I think I need to wrap this up. Hopefully, you enjoyed today's teaching, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed today's teaching. God bless you. Thank you for your support, guys. Keep spreading our videos, guys, to spank these liars, to spank the man-made cult of Muhammad, this man-made religion, right? And his pagan cults, his pagan rituals, his pagan practices. We prove to you that Ramadan is the festival for the moon, the moon idol, right? We proved it from the Quran. We proved to you that Ashura is nothing but a pagan religion practice. Muhammad adopted Ramadan and Ashura inside Islam. Thank you for watching, guys. Unfortunately, there are no Muslim heroes left to call us. I wonder why. <laughs> guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Smash that like button, guys. Help me to help you. Click on the notification bell to receive notification when we go live. God bless you. God bless your families. Islam is nothing but a pagan cult. We proved it yet again today for everybody to see. Jesus is Lord. Muhammad is a fake prophet. He was a nice pagan Sabian boy. He hated the Jews because when you are a follower of Satan, you are going to hate the people of the true living God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jesus is Lord. And every knee will bow and proclaim that Jesus is Lord. Including you Muslims. Please come back home. Come back to home to Jesus Christ. Only he can save you. Guys in the chat, you don't know, need me. I am re replaceable. Sam Shamun is replaceable. Christian Prince is replaceable. You only need Jesus. Maybe Jesus, his plan was to provide teachers like me, to provide teachers like Christian Prince. God bless him. God bless Sam Shamun. God bless David Wood. Keep supporting us. But you don't need us, guys. Right? You need only Jesus because only Jesus can save you. I need Jesus, guys. Thank you for your support. God bless you and your families. Lord willing, we will see each other in another amazing live show like today. God bless you. God bless your families. Peace of Christ to everybody here, including the Muslims. See you again very soon. God bless.